Hi everyone, welcome to The Nose Knows. My name is Daniel. I am really excited today because we are going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions of a brand new scent from Chanel. This is the new Gabrielle Eau de Parfum fragrance. It just came out in Chanel boutiques and it will be available online August 19th and in all stores with Chanel fragrance on September 1st. This is a brand new type of scent for them. It's a brand new franchise of scent. This is the first new whole collection of scent in 15 years. 15 years we've had Chance, we've had Coco Mademoiselle, we've had new updates of number five, but we haven't had a whole new version of a Chanel fragrance for 15 years. So this is really, really big for them. I picked this up today at the Chanel Boutique. I am really lucky to have a boutique here in Chicago. That's the only place you can get it as of now. It'll be available online on Chanel.com on August 19th, and it will be available everywhere that Chanel has fragrances on September 1st. So it's coming out wide stream very soon, but for now, it's just at the boutiques. So when you go to the boutiques, you get these fabulous bags with the nice camellia flower, really cute. And they give you a little handout that has some information about Gabrielle, the scent, in it. So the concept behind this scent is all about Gabrielle Chanel before she was the famous Coco Chanel, before she created her amazing fashion line and had really big success with her clothes, her fragrances, her jewelry. This was about the girl, the orphan, who dreamed of something bigger for herself. She was a rebel, she was free at heart, and she knew that she was going to go make her mark on the world. That's what the scent is inspired by. Now, the main notes in the scent are four flowers creating an imaginary Chanel flower, as my little book likes to tell me. Uh, we have exotic jasmine, white alang alang, orange blossom, and grass tuberose. These four floral chords creating this mysterious flower, and they even have a little picture of what that flower might look like. It's actually a pretty cool concept, I think. It's an interesting story, one that you don't always hear when you're getting a new fragrance. So, let's take a look at the box before we open it. This is it. You can tell that it is more square shaped than all the other bottles, which are either round or rectangular. And it's in this solar lame color, which is not really gold and not really silver. It's sort of in, in between the two. Let's open it up. Oh, it's... I've been waiting for this scent for months. I've heard about it, I've read about it. It's like, I can't believe it's finally in my hands. It's right here. All right, here we go. The inside of the box is a delicious gold bronze color. And here we have the outline of the bottle itself, which opens to the bottle. So the bottle design has four facets to it that represent the four different florals in the scent, and it draws into the heart where the bottle is thinnest, where the light shines through. It's a very classic bottle. I almost feel like there's something very 1920s, almost art deco about the style of it. Of course, like all Chanel scents, very simple, very understated yet elegant. So I'm gonna roll up my sleeve. And we're gonna try this scent on my skin. I'm told it's a very floral feminine scent. So it's probably not one I'm gonna be wearing. So here we go. First impressions. The spray is a little bit more thin than other sprays, like the number five is a mist. And a lot of other, ooh, I'm getting the scent, wow. Very, very, very floral. It is so different than anything I've smelled from Chanel before. It's like, is this the Chanel fragrance? It's really sweet. It almost 
reminds me of like Euphoria by Calvin Klein, but it's not like it's not the same feeling at all as that scent, but there's something that deep about it. Okay, definitely getting the, f the florals and the citrus. I think there's some citrus in it. But there's something deeper in it that's interesting. Now, it's not... <laughs> it's not at all like number five, or Coco Mademoiselle, or Chance. This one has nothing of the sort. There's no sort of, like, heaviness to it. There's no sort of base to it there's it's like all florals and all like it's very sweet really really warms up on my skin and it's you know been like two minutes mm. okay so i'm just gonna be honest total surprise doesn't smell like any other Chanel's I've ever smelled in the exclusives or the main line. And I have to say that it smells like it could be from not Chanel. It, it, it just, I mean, would I be surprised? if another designer had a scent like this? No. Absolutely true that it smells like, almost like this could be its own flower. I think a lot of people are gonna be really surprised by this. Okay, so it's starting to, the tuberose is coming out more, the Lang Lang is definitely prominent. That initial burst of really warm sweetness is dissipating now. It's reminding me more of like a classic Hermes or just a really classic floral scent. It's starting to settle in a little bit. It's so sweet and it's really pretty. It just is like, it feels so young, but so classic. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's like pandering to a really youthful crowd. A mature, fabulous woman could wear this. And she wouldn't be a, she wouldn't be out of place, but like a fourteen year old could wear this too. It feels like you're walking through a field of flowers, but it's like magical. I feel like there's a, a little bit of aldehydes, which are in so many of their scents, but there's just like a little bit of that sparkling, serene quality to it. And now it's just getting more classic. It's gorgeous. I'm just so surprised because I'm just so used to either. The heavy white musk or vanilla of number five, or the patchouli of Coco Mademoiselle, or the amber of patchouli and ombrette in Chance. This is different. This is this is different. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm just gonna do first impressions today and the unboxing. I'm gonna give myself several times to wear this to give a full dry down, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment below if you have any comments about the scent. If maybe you've smelled it yourself or you know someone who has. Ask me any questions you have. I love to get in touch with you guys. Also, I do work at Neiman Marcus in Chicago. We don't have this scent yet. We get it September 1st. But if you're looking for anything or have any questions about Chanel or beauty in general or anything in the store, I love to help you. I have a lot of subscribers that get fragrances through me. I'm always very honest. I'm not going to bullshit you that tell you something's good when it's not if I don't believe it is. So my email is below if you want to contact me to purchase anything or to ask some questions about something that you're thinking of purchasing. And if you really like this video, please like it, please share it, and you can even subscribe to my channel because I will be doing a full review in just a few weeks and I'm always bringing out new scents for guys and girls and I touch on skincare as well. I really love skincare and fragrance. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.